We now have a better idea of what the world of legalized marijuana will look like in Ontario. The province announcing today where people will be able to get pot once the federal government legalizes the drug by next July. Angelo Aversa joins us with more on our top story tonight. Christy, good evening. The federal government has told pro the province to devise their own systems for the sale, distribution and usage of marijuana once it becomes legal next summer. And today, Ontario outlined its plan, one that is facing some criticism. I don't think that they should legalize it. <laughs> Coming soon to an LCBO near you, the legal sale of cannabis through new standalone stores. In fact, 150 stores will open by 2020, including 40 next summer, when recreational pot becomes legal. It should be legal because in my case, I have MS, so it helps my pains and my muscles. But while the LCBO will oversee the system, liquor stores that sell alcohol will not be able to sell marijuana. It's only in a province like Ontario and in a country Canada can you take legalizing cannabis and make it a really boring and mundane process. If there isn't a store near you, marijuana can be purchased online starting in July next year. You will have to be 19 years of age, the same minimum age for alcohol, which is also one year older than what was recommended by Ottawa. To further protect youth, the prohibition of those under 19 having cannabis will also allow police to confiscate small amounts of cannabis from young people without leaving them with a criminal record. The Attorney General of Ontario also promised to shut down illegal pot shops over the next year. My main concern is people smoking and driving because there's enough of that now with people texting and driving and drinking and driving. Consumption of legal weed will not be allowed in public spaces or workplaces, confined only to private residences. That angers John Lidke, the owner of Higher Limits in Windsor. He tells CTV News his company should be allowed to apply for a cannabis license. It's legalization while saying don't consume it anywhere except for like it hidden in your own home. And that's not treated the same way as alcohol is treated because you can go into a bar or a restaurant and have a glass of wine, for example. Yes, sir, NACV does say the government will explore the possibility of allowing marijuana license establishments in the future, but there is no word yet on how much the marijuana will cost. The province says it will have to be low enough to discourage an underground market, but not too low that the pot consumption increases. Christy. Interesting to finally get some details. Thank yeah. you, Angelo.